All right, everybody. Back with a print that, well, doing some miniatures that required a lot more support and came across some stuff and played with how to do the support interfaces and the supports themselves. The numbers when you do the support adjustments actually correspond to what filaments you have loaded. So you would load, you would press the plus and you would load your other filaments and one, two, and three are what I have in there. So my support would be three and that's going to be black as you can see on the screen. The support interface is going to be the white on there because that's the color it is that they ship it with. And it took about five minutes to figure this out. I did a little bit of Googling and found some stuff on different channels and figured I'd put something together just going over what to do with it. Um, from my testing, I really wouldn't recommend using three colors unless it's a much larger print and you can purge it into the infill. Uh, you end up just pooping out too much of it for it to be worth it. And I think it actually used less when I just left it as the gold filament. So <clears throat> if you do do it like this, I would recommend it just being a bigger print in general. Um, if you're doing it, smaller miniatures like this is, then I would just stick with doing it all one color and then doing your support interface as the support material. Um, I kind of, I'm iffy on this one. I think that because it, the way these miniatures are, it's a little bit more difficult to pull it off. So there are certain parts where it just didn't separate quite as easily and it kind of left marks and you could see where it's not as fine detail on it. They still came out very well, but where, um, not everywhere, but certain parts where the support filament was, it just didn't come out quite as good quality in my opinion. But overall it was easier compared to just using regular filament for the supports. I think in the future, I'll try some water soluble support and see how that does in the AMS itself. But that'll probably be a couple of weeks because I want to run through this before I put it away because I don't know how well it'll do sitting out. I do have a little heat chamber I can put it in, but I'd rather just run through it all before I buy some. But yeah, it works pretty well. I'm not sure if I'd want an adjustment where I could kind of make it more or less of the support filament at the top. I don't know if that would make a difference, but overall it seemed to work fairly well. But that's all I got for this one.